This is Congressman Don Manzillo. I'm here in Washington this week and I'm trying to read through all of nearly 2,000 pages of a brand new bill that's coming up for a vote next week. It took me 100 hours to read the prior bill in the House, and that was half the size of this. In fact, if you put a single space, the bill is actually this tall. I've gone through this bill, and just preliminarily, three things popped out that really don't make sense. The first thing is uh, it, it gives scholarships for veterinarians, loan repayments, and grants and concessions for people practicing veterinarian medicine. What that has to do with the high cost of health insurance and health care for humans, I have no idea. Second of all, uh, there's a tax placed on wheelchairs and other medical equipment. All that does, it adds, it adds to the cost of the medical equipment, that adds to the cost of uh, overall cost of health insurance. Uh, plus there's a $500 billion cut in Medicare uh, so that seniors will, will find that it's going to be more and more difficult uh, getting Medicare services uh, because of the high cost. The um, third thing that I found out in here is that as far as medical liability reform is concerned, there is none. In fact, on page 1431 of this bill, uh, you'll find that there's a perverse incentive for states to have Medicare liability or medical liability because what it does is this bill, and until I read it, I couldn't believe it, the bill actually gives money to states that, that don't have medical liability reform. And, and it does it in such a way that states that, such as Wisconsin uh, and Indiana and California and Nebraska, uh, states that have tried medical liability reform, including Illinois, it says that the federal government will give money to the state if you have a medical liability reform bill uh, that does not limit attorney's fees or impose caps on damages. And it's always been the caps on on non-economic damages uh, that, that has been the problem in terms of trying to bring down the high cost of health insurance. So three problems right away, including this outrageous section on inducing states to repeal their medical liability reform laws by withholding money. I'm open, uh, I've always been open to medical liability uh, reform and, and health care reform in general. In, I introduced in the House's passing Republicans controlled it, association health plans to allow individuals and small businesses to form large purchasing pools to buy insurance to bring down the high cost of health insurance and get rid of things uh, such as uh, pre existing illnesses and also mainly from uh, medical liability reform. Those two passed the House easily several times, went over to the Senate, and because you actually need 16 votes. Uh, to move something over there, there weren't enough uh, Republicans and we couldn't get tort reform through for doctors and hospitals. Uh, and the vote that came up on association health plans failed by only two votes. If just those two bills were passed, uh, association health plans, medical liability reform, they could have dramatically brought down the cost of health insurance. Bills that would take up just a relatively few pages compared to this 2,000 page behemoth that we have here. But I'll continue to read the bill and, and uh, make a decision later on. But at this point, it just looks like more government-run health insurance as opposed to patient-centered health insurance.